We have seen the specification and computer program in the last two videos in the series. What I'd like to emphasize in this particular program is that I've used these brackets here for the relational tests that I needed to implement the specification. I use these brackets because I believe it can aid the readability of computer code for a human being. However, they're technically not really needed in this particular case. And what I'm going to do in the moment is to remove the brackets and then we're going to explore something called the order of operators within a computer language and within Python in particular. Now here you can see the computer program again and if you look in this region you can see that the brackets have actually been removed. Now this program will behave and work in exactly the same way as it did before because Python knows what it should do first. Now if you think about it, Python's not going to do this first, is it? It's not going to do the AND operator first. Now the reason being is because it'll need to know, for example, what this gives. Does this give true or false? Because it needs to work on trues and falses. Whereas this here, well this is asking is age greater than or equal to 18, which will return true or false. But the AND needs to know what that is first. So we can see that the AND is not done before the relational operator. So the relational operator has a higher priority than the AND operator. Let's consider the following example here. It's 5 plus 2 times 3. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the 5 and the 2, I'm going to add them first to get 7. I'll then multiply the 7 by the 3 to give 21. Taking the same example, this time I'm going to do the multiplication. So 2 times 3 is 6. We add that to the 5 and we get 11. Now this one here is wrong. This one is right. And the reason we have one that's right and one that's wrong is because times is done before addition. And this is is something that we agree on as people who do mathematics that we must make sure we do the multiplication before the addition and it's an agreed rule now Python itself has these rules and it knows that he has to do multiplication before it does addition let's have a look at the calculation again and let's say for whatever reason we wanted to do the addition first well what you do you put them in brackets as you can see here so the 5 plus the 2 is in brackets so that's calculated first to give 7 and then we multiply by the 3 to give 21. Now let's say we wish to do the multiplication first. Now we know Python will do that anyhow, but if we want we could put it in brackets here because brackets have the highest priority. So there's no doubting that we're going to wanting to be do the brackets first here. So maybe for our benefit sometimes if you use brackets you're really telling yourself when you read your program at a later date or telling anybody else who looks at your code oh they want to do the multiplication first for whatever reason in the context of the actual program itself. But the key here is we can see that multiplication is done before addition but brackets is done before both addition and multiplication. So what we have with Python are lots of operators that some are always done before others. They have a higher priority. But here's a tip for you. While you're learning Python, or maybe forever from now on, if you use brackets, there's no mistaking what should be done first because they have the highest priority. So a tip could be for you, especially when you're a learning program, if in doubt, use some brackets. Now, lots of people won't like this. They will say, well, you should learn the priority of operators. Yeah, and there's a lot to be said for that. But if in doubt, use brackets. Remember, your program's running machine code at the end of the day, and if it helps you as a human being write your own code and make it more understandable to yourself, there's no problem using brackets, and I would recommend it. And one of the good things about Python, if you have a long calculation that contains brackets, it's very easy to transfer it to Python code. So what I would recommend, by all means, go onto the web now, Download the priority of operators. I'm not going to do any more on it. I'm just pointing out that there is a priority when you use operators. And you can see that you have had a look here at relational operators and logical operators. And you've seen the order of priority for those. And we have also got the difference of priority of operations when we do additions and multiplications. So just bear in mind that priority of operators exists. It's called operator precedence, and it's important that you understand that it exists. And also, I would learn what comes before what. But if in doubt, fall back on the brackets. We'll be returning to look at this topic area in much greater detail later in the Python playlist. Check out the supporting website for these videos and consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and you'll get an automatic update every time I upload a new video on Python.